Machinery has a really complex place within the history of the arts and crafts movement, but its adoption was essential to the progression towards modern design. I'm Roisin, Senior Curator at the William Morris Gallery, and today I'm going to be talking a little about William Morris's legacy. This copper and brass teapot was designed by the architect designer W.A.S. Benson in the 1890s. It has a really interesting yet elegant shape. It's made from copper and brass, which is a combination of materials that Benson used a lot, and it really makes the individual details stand out. The body of the pot is cast in two pieces, and then the join is disguised by the simple rim that runs all the way around the outside. The spout is a really interesting octagonal shape and is made from brass, the same as the foot, the handle and the lid. The top of the lid, there's a light, nice little acorn shaped wooden finial. I think my favourite bit of the pot is this slightly exaggerated loop of the handle, which is joined to the body of the pot with a metal hinge. Benson was an interesting character. He was always really interested in machinery, and so, despite being one of the arts and crafts practitioners, was not adverse to using machinery to create his designs. He also designed furniture and wallpaper, but he's best known for these simple utilitarian metalwork designs. Although the arts and crafts movement was originally centred on hand production, the adoption of machinery was crucial in the application of arts and crafts principles and designs to the modernist movement of the 20th century. Benson was a founding member of the Design and Industries Association, which was an organisation set up around the start of the First World War to help promote arts and crafts principles and industrial design uh, in the same place. Benson was inspired to take up metalworking by William Morris. He initially had a small workshop, then set up a larger factory and a shop in London's fashionable Bond Street. Benson was always really interested in technology and engineering, and so means of industrial production such as lathes and other machinery were used throughout the application of his designs. When I look at the subject, even though a teapot is perhaps a slightly old-fashioned object these days, to me this looks like a piece of modern design. I think objects like this show that it was the interesting and elegant shape of arts and crafts production that really had the biggest influence on the design we know from the 20th century.